Ivan. Once upon a time, there was a poor widowed woman that lived in a village. This woman had a son named Jack. Jack was a very lazy boy, and he would never help his mother around the house. He didn't work either to make some money. Although he was a very clever boy, he was useless. Jack, wake up! You need to go to the market and sell the last cow we have left. Could never worked. Their only livelihood was selling all the cows they owned after his father passed away. I'm sorry, Milky Girl, but we have to sell you. We don't have anything left to eat. On his way to the marketplace, Jack came across a strange old woman. Good morning, young man. Where are you going? I'm going to the market to sell our cow. Don't bother going there. If you give me your cow, I will give you some of my magic beans in return. What do you say? Jack didn't like this offer, but the woman insisted. Look, these are magic beans. They will make you rich. Are you sure you don't want them? What? Rich, you said? Okay, I'll take them. Jack gave the cow to the old woman. He took the beans and headed back home. Mom, mom, look! I sold the cow, and now we have magic beans. I didn't even have to go to the marketplace. His poor mother almost fainted as she couldn't believe what she heard. What? How can you do this, Jack? I only asked you to do one thing, but you couldn't even do that. To your room now. Jack was very angry and upset. He threw the beans he had in his hand outside in the garden. Jack realized that he had been tricked. He was sad and starving. He couldn't even sleep. He regretted not doing what his mother told him to do. In the morning, the young man looked out the window and saw a plant that was growing rapidly. It was a giant beanstalk rising to the sky. Oh, what is this? It's a beanstalk. I guess the old woman was telling the truth. The beans were magical. We'll be rich, rich! He immediately went out to the garden and started climbing the giant beanstalk. He kept on going up and up. It seemed the plant had no end. The beanstalk reached all the way to the clouds. Among the clouds, there was a huge house in front of him. Everything was so big that even the grass around the house looked like a tree next to Jack. Jack knocked on the door of the giant house. A giant woman opened the door. I'm very hungry and tired. Can you give me something to eat? The giant woman felt very sorry for the little boy. Come on in, but you need to eat and go before my husband arrives. He hates children, and he can harm you. Jack immediately sat at the table. When he started eating, he suddenly heard a loud and scary voice. Fee-fi-fo-fum! It smells like children in here. This smell makes me lose my appetite. I don't like it. Where is he? The giant woman's husband was a horrible-looking giant. The ground trembled when he walked. 
Hide in the oven. He mustn't see you. Frightened, Jack hid in the oven right away. When the giant couldn't find Jack, he sat at the table to eat his dinner. Once he finished, he went to his room to take a nap. He kept on saying, I count, count, and I'm still not finished. Jack realized that the giant had left. When he was about to leave, he noticed a pouch full of gold on the table. So this is what he meant when he kept on saying, I count. Count, I could have finished. Jack threw down the pouch that was more like a sack next to him and slid down the beanstalk. Mother, look how much gold I've brought you. We're not poor anymore. Son, where did you get this? I hope you didn't do anything wrong. Jack convinced his mother and she was relieved. After some time, Jack couldn't stop thinking about the house at the top of the beanstalk. I wonder what would happen if I go up there again. I'm now experienced too. One day, he couldn't resist and climbed up the beanstalk again. He went to the giant's house. The giant's wife was a very nice woman and she let him in again. Before long, the giant returned home. As soon as Jack heard his footsteps, he hid in the oven. The giant came in the house merrily, but his mood suddenly changed. He became angry and growled. Fee-fi-fo-fum! I smell children here again. You know I hate them. I know a child has come to our house today. Who is it? There is no smell other than the meal I'm cooking. And no one came today. Let me prepare your dinner. You must be hungry. The giant ate until he was completely full. Before he went to his room, he asked his wife to bring him his golden egg-laying chicken. His wife placed it on the table. I order you! Golden egg! Golden egg! The chicken would lay a golden egg each time. And the giant would put them in a basket. As soon as the giant went to his room, Jack, who had seen everything through the holes of the oven, grabbed the chicken and slid down the beanstalk back home. Time passed by. Jack and his mother were now very rich, but Jack still didn't want to work. He still couldn't stop thinking about the place. where the giant lived. He was interested in the gold. I will go one more time. This time I need to be more careful. He went up the beanstalk and entered the house without the giant's wife noticing. He hid in the oven again, but as soon as the giant entered the house... fee fi fo fum where is this child smell coming from? Ugh, I hate this smell! The giant's wife, who didn't see Jack, come in, told the giant. You shout like this every time you think you smell a child. You can search everywhere. You'll see that there's no one in the house besides us. The giant and his wife searched all over the house, but couldn't find Jack. Jack had hidden very well. After the giant had his meal, he called out to his wife. Can you bring me my golden harp? The harp that was on the table started playing such beautiful music that the giant, who was completely full, fell asleep soundly.
Jack saw the giant fall asleep, grabbed the harp and started to run. But the magical harp started to scream. Help! Help! I'm being kidnapped! The giant heard the harp's shouts and immediately woke up. He ran after Jack chasing him. Jack was really scared. So you're the one who stole my gold and my chicken. I'm going to catch you and imprison you for life! Jack ran as fast as he could and he jumped and slid down the beanstalk while still holding onto the harp. The giant, who couldn't slide because of his huge body, was extremely angry. As soon as Jack slid down and reached his garden, he cut the beanstalk that, along with the giant, flew very far away. So Jack was now free of the giant. He wondered about the place the giant lived, but was never going to be able to go there again. Jack barely saved his life. He ran straight to his mother. Mother, what I've done is not right. You warned me, but I didn't listen to you. From now on, I will never take anyone's belongings without asking them first. I have learned my lesson. No more laziness. I will find a job and work so that I can take care of you. Oh, my dear clever son. I'm so happy. After Jack's decision, the golden egg-laying chicken began laying normal eggs. Jack learned to play the magical harp because it no longer played by itself. From that day on, Jack and his mother lived a happy and peaceful life. Jack was now earning his own money as a farmer. He took care of his mother. He had the best job because it was the job he knew how to do. Hey guys! Subscribe to our channel Kondo-san and watch the most popular fairy tales, cartoons and nursery rhymes. Don't forget to click the bell for notifications.